G'day, I'm Matt Davey. Today I'm looking at my long hive, often called a long lang or a horizontal hive. Today I'm doing OSBN, or opening the sides of the brood nest. So basically we're wanting to make space on the outsides of the brood nest so the queen has space to lay eggs and to encourage bees to make wax and build comb. So here we have overwintered in the center of the box, I've got 10 frames and follow boards on each side of the box. So I'll be taking out this follow board on, on this side and then we'll be inserting these empty frames in beside the open brood. So first I need to take this follow board out might be stuck in there. The bees blew it very well. So I'll just try that. Just add a bit of smoke. So I don't get too upset when it really Okay, now we can take this follow board out. So what I'm wanting to do is add a frame that is empty or a frame of foundation that has the bottom corners cut off. So it's this wedge shape here. Basically we want to have a big open gap so that the bees will hang down and build comb from there. So let's have a look at the side of this brood nest. Now I can see there's brood already on this frame. This is the outside frame. Yeah, doing well. <laughs> so I just blow on there, and you can see the patch of brood there. So this frame's got brood on it, so we're just going to add the frame next to that on the outside. So that's an easy one. Now we want to see what's on this side. Remember we want to add the frame in beside the brood. So we want to find where the brood nest starts on this side. So there's no brood on that side. Pollen, but there's no eggs, so that's not our brood nest yet. I suspect this next frame in has brood. So I can see eggs. This frame is full of eggs, so this is the outside frame of the brood nest. Of course you want to go through and inspect all of your frames, make sure there's no queen cells being made, although they don't look like they're excessively full. So 
no signs of any intention to spawn. But as I said, you need to go through all of the frames it's the start of swarm season. I'll just check this outside frame, it should be full of nectar or honey. And you can see they're actually eating that capped honey there. And there's nectar in there as well. So we'll leave that on the outside edge of the box next to our follow board. So what we want to do is insert a empty frame so it gives the queen some room to lay eggs. So you can always uh, use comb like this so all the comb down the bottom has been cut out and you've just got a strip along the top there of comb or even foundation just for, as a guide for the bees to build on so build straight comb. So over here I have empty comb and frames of foundation and this is where the bees will expand into start storing their honey in that area and uh, obviously that's what we're after. Hope that's been helpful for you. Long hive is basically just uh, making a space on each side of the brood nest so inserting um, a partial frame of comb or foundation in beside the, uh, the outside edge of that nest gives the queen some space to lay eggs and it encourages the wax makers to build a comb. Alright, happy beekeeping!